Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm gonna show 21. So yesterday we got the new play of the month program for August. We ended up finishing that up and we'll kind of go over that. We do have a lot of packs to open up just from this program itself and some from the conquest board that also dropped. And then tomorrow, big content day, we have Team Affinity Season 4. So we do know most of the cards that did drop. I think there's only seven teams left that haven't been revealed. So we'll kind of go over that a little bit. And again, what you got to do to prepare. But as far as the monthly awards go, again, it's an okay looking set. I don't even know when I'm going to debut these guys. Because honestly, 2K comes out tomorrow. That's probably what I'm going to be playing for a majority of the day. But we did get this 99 Robbie Ray card. He looks good on paper. Just doesn't really have the pitch repertoire for me personally to be like really solid or effective but you know we'll definitely try him out also he's a lefty i don't really like using lefty arms or even lefty hitters to be honest <laughs> but i don't really like using lefties so i don't really know about this card until we actually use him but i'm sure like we'll be able to do fine with him i normally do pretty solid when when it comes to pitching and stuff like that so you know we'll probably debut him sometime this week probably on like sunday something like that so we got him. We'll debut the rest of these guys. But I do like Luis Robert here. Will Smith looks like a solid catcher. And then the other card I really liked was Devin Williams. You know, and then as far as like playing some of the moments and seeing the swings, Naquin looked pretty good. I don't think I cared for these guys right here. But yeah, you know, August play of the month. Again, just to do this, got to do all the missions. I think that's the best way. And then the collection is a must. And then how I approached it. I played the new conquest board that dropped. We were doing the missions while doing the conquest board. And then we had to play some extra CPU games to kind of top it off. But it's not its not really that long or doesn't take that much time to do these. If you guys have been playing throughout the whole year, then you guys kind of know how to approach and do play of the month by now. But we did do that. And then the conquest board, I didn't really, uh, I didn't tally down like the hidden rewards or anything like that. But the conquest board is right here. So five games, no, six games in total. No, five games. Yeah, five games in total to play. Not really going to take that long. I would definitely go approach the Jays first. And then you can choose if you want to do the Cardinals and Mets next or the, the Orioles or Phillies. I think I went, yeah, I went Blue Jays, Cardinals, Mets, Phillies, and then the Orioles. So there is some prospect packs in this. I think some ball in his habit. No diamond choice packs. So that's why I didn't even bother like tallying this up and, you know, show, like locating all the hidden rewards. Doesn't really matter, but it is good for XP purposes for the six inning program. And then just some extra packs here and there. So let's go on to the packs. So we got 26 show packs. Again, these all come from the player of the month program and conquest. And that's pretty much it. We got five ball and is a habit, a silver pack, a headliner for set one, set 19, 27, and 32. Classic Stadium, Gold Ball Player, and then the Prospect Packs were for AL East and NL East. And then you do get a Feel the Dreams Choice Pack in the August Play of the Month program. And then we also have the September Evolution that we got from Daily Moments. But I don't think I'm going to open this up yet just because we'll kind of see like how uh, the collection, the big collection is on friday also yeah there's there's another big collection drop in so you know there's a lot coming out tomorrow team affinity four definitely going to be big 30 new diamonds maybe even more you know we don't we don't really know if there's going to be the henchman yet they did say it's future stars and legends but the only thing that's been re revealed so far has been legends so we'll kind of see how that is also there was a new legend i don't know if you guys saw it and we'll kind of go over it but Vinny castilla is going to be the new legend that's going to be for the rockies team affinity and you know it looks like it could be a pretty solid card i think what i saw from that card you know it's for, going to be a 1998 silver slugger had 46 home runs that year so a lot of power i would assume and shortstop third baseman could be could be a dub could be a dub of a card and then a lot of other cards got revealed today i think the biggest one being a 99 frame thomas so we'll go over all the cards that have been revealed and then again you know what you should be doing to kind of prepare a little bit but packs are packs right now nothing good out of these you know just the normal silvers and golds and all all this stuff we don't really care about but right now this is just for exchange purposes right we're getting we're getting cards that we're going to use to exchange and that's kind of 
you know what all these packs are going into or all these cards are going to be going into so that's that's probably the best way to kind of prepare right now just to pick up as many cards as you can i don't really know what the market's looking like i'm pretty sure these cards are around like 50 60 70 stubs the bronze cards i'm saying so you definitely want to do it before tomorrow because they could go definitely much higher and i do think you're going to need like 200 per each division so what I mean by that is I normally get 74 rated bronze cards. So 74 rated, 200 for each division. And, you know, you'll probably spend like 10, 15K, I think, for each one. But that's kind of how you want to prepare if you want to be ready, ready when Team Affinity Season 4 drops. And you'll, you'll be able to get, I think, 60 exchange points right off the bat. So that's what you want to do. These show packs have been so bad. <laughs> Help me out, game. <laughs> Help me out. We got we got a silver pack right here. Let's see. Nothing right there. Balling is a habit. Let's just go right into them. We got to see a diamond here. <laughs> we got to see a diamond in one of these. Gold, not going to do us any good. I feel like this is just going to be a dud of a pack opening. Another gold right there. Renfro just got the player of the month card. Let's keep it moving. And another gold. We got Schwarber. Okay, these are these are not good packs. Not good packs. Tim Anderson. Last balling is a habit for us. And no diamond. I feel like that was our best chance at getting a diamond. Set one, Josh Donaldson. And we got two of these. And we got nothing right there. See, even if I pack a diamond, like I don't want Donaldson. We got this, we got the uniform right there. So we'll take that. Yeah, like I wouldn't want him. We got Bob Gibson. He's also getting a team affinity card donaldson got the uh the world series card so a lot of 99s are dropping another uniform at least that's a nice looking one nothing there though set 27 we got a chance at machado not really gonna do us any good nothing there and then probably nothing here also right yeah nothing there nice packs game nice pack set 32 chance at mad bum can we get him i think i have him but would be nice to get one diamond today game <laughs> doesn't look like it doesn't look like it l packs definitely l packs right there we better get the rare tier in the other choice pack though oh wait no never mind uh right here doesn't really matter we'll just take that and then gold ball player doesn't even matter any of these are kind of expensive <laughs> doesn't matter we'll take that and that and then we got the prospect packs so the last three conquest boards have pretty much gave you all the prospect cards you need which is pretty much a dub right there. So you want to do them just for the prospect packs if you don't have all of them by now. Like we have all these. I'm pretty sure they will go up in price tomorrow for exchange purposes. And, you know, because you need it for collections pretty much. Now, feel the dreams. We want one of these guys. That's it. What they're going for, 88K right now. So if we can get one of those, that would be kind of nice, especially since our packs have been so bad. <sighs> Ah, uh, nothing there. We do got a lot of these though for maybe exchange purposes or just for investment purposes. We'll kind of see how it plays out tomorrow, but we'll just take what we have, I think, the least of. And that's our packs. Definitely really, really bad. Kind of sucks. Was hoping for more, but that's the way it is. We haven't really packed any like crazy diamonds either in a while. So our pack luck has definitely slowed down not that like we opened that many packs again tomorrow though is going to be big because you got team affinity and just looking at like team affinity we're going to get so many packs so there should be a ton of packs for us to open up and you know hopefully we get good stuff out of those because that's kind of what we need now as far as team affinity goes like i said what you want to do get ready for exchange purposes you know get as many cards as you can there's going to be four exchanges i'm pretty sure the amount you can get from exchanges is going to be 60 points so you definitely want to do that so it's going to be like this 25k 50k 75k and this one's going to be 150k so get as many cards as you want so as far as the cards that have already been revealed we got wade boggs frank thomas which i think is going to be the best one unless we get mickey mantle or even ken griffey jr you got bob feller hal newhauser craig biggio he was really nice last year brett saberhagen jim edmonds walter johnson jason giambi for the a's and then David Price. Price doesn't even make any sense. He's not even a legend. So the Rays got absolutely schemed in this set. And then you got Ivan Rodriguez, which I think is going to be a very solid card. 
John Allerud, Eddie Matthews, Greg Maddox, Barry Larkin. Looks like he could be a nice card. Vinny Castilla, the new legend. You got Duke Snyder, Paul Molitor, Tom Seaver. Looked all right. His per nines, his hit per nine, I think it was, wasn't that high. And then Jimmy Rollins. And then the last two that have been revealed, Hannes Wagner and Bob Gibson. So we still have, I think, seven teams left. And we'll kind of see how that plays out tomorrow. But you got that. All these cards, they're definitely going to go into another collection. So the one thing that was revealed is that there is a big collection coming out. I'm pretty sure it's like a big, big collection, like how Mariano Rivera was and and uh, what's his name? Mookie Betts was. But all these cards that we just showed off, you know, that's that's going into this big collection. So another thing I would do is try to pick up all the cards from all these tiers right here, you know, just taking a look at some of these cards in, in the collections. I'm pretty sure I have like almost every card. So I'm I'm prepared for the big collection. Like I'll be able to get that card tomorrow. But you want to make sure you have a majority of these. Especially the ones you can get for free. And especially the ones that are really cheap. You know there's a lot of these cards that are pretty cheap. And I don't think they're really that expensive. So like a Biggio right here going for 7k. Fowler 7k. Like you want to pick up those cards and what's suitor going for 73k what did i buy him for wow he's like i think i bought him for like 40k i'm pretty yeah i have that card so he went up in price a lot of these cards will go up in price tomorrow for like every single set and yeah that's pretty much it but again you definitely want to pick up all the low-end ones that you can get and then just be ready. You know, I don't think a lot of people will be able to get whatever card it is tomorrow. But we put ourselves in a position early on where we don't even have to play the game that much. Because <laughs> we have so much stubs. So we'll be we'll be ready for that 100%. Because we got, what, 630, 30K? And then we have all of these right here. Just a million or 100K right here. So I think this is like 2, 3 million. I don't know. And then we have so many cards invested. <laughs> like we're we're good. So whoever that big collection is, that's probably going to be our next like debut card. But we'll see how everything else plays out. So tomorrow, big day, Team Affinity Season 4, big time collection. I'm sure there's other stuff dropping too along the way. And it should be a good drop. So until then, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, drop a like in the video. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm out.